Howdy y'all, welcome back to Sam and Max Freelance Police, or Freelance Husbands, whichever one you want to say. Joe's yeah, this one's the Devil's Playhouse, though, right? Well, or did well, they change the title? No, that's the, yeah, that's, the, that's the title of the season. Gosh, and there's an extra title, because this is episode two of the Tomb of Sam and Mac. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Last time... No, no one can keep track of this crap. Last time we sent Skunk Ape to the penal zone, blew up our building, and found two old corpses underneath it seeming to strangle each other but not in the good way are you sure yes i'm sure <laughs> ah, that's I, totally that would totally be their kink <laughs> anyways let's start a new game and see what's up let me guess we're gonna open this book to page like 150 and skip all the background and just leave you hanging right in the middle. No, well, first Max is on fire, as he always is. has been witness to many strange scenes, but none so staggering as the one that played out here beneath her slumbering streets just seconds ago. Our An evil space he didn't see 9-11, I don't think. But anyway. ...by a six-foot-tall dog and a rabbity thing with psychic power. A tidy conclusion to an improbable story. Or so it would seem. For about five Yeah, you can't just sell one out of five games. Yeah. ...and see something so unexplainable, so horrifying, as to render evil space apes suddenly quaint. I didn't see a space monkey, did you? I saw one get sucked into a hole. Giggity. How could you, Sam? There you stand, a sickening grin on your face, your great hairy mitts clutched around my dear little silky white neck. Isn't that I just a normal Tuesday, little buddy? But I couldn't bring myself to believe her. I could be wrong, Max, but I've got a hunch this isn't us. These horrifying skeletons you sure? are to convey a message of some sort. There's a story behind this grisly tableau. Aha, uh -huh, a note. What's it say? Our there's a wow! Thank goodness that was inside tower. somebody. <laughs> a highly flammable reel of nitrate-coated film from the dawn of the age of cinema. I'll just pop it into this conveniently placed projector. No fair, Sam. You got to pick the movie last time. Shut up and enjoy the show, Max. Oh, it's a shitty framing device. Manos, the hands of fate. No, what is this? Ooh, Egyptian-y. The Devil's Toy Box. Hey, that looks just like... Good! They kept the subtitles. Thundering ten types of Teddy Roosevelt in a three-wheeled baby carriage with a bonus jar of mustache wax. That's none other than my great-grandpa Samoth, with your great-grandpa Maximus. I can't hear what they're saying. Why do these toys end up it's together? A silent movie, little buddy. Uh, before the invention of vocal cords. Fate? You can't find the volume knob, huh? Let me... No, get away. Something's happening, Sam. My aura is going all squirrely. Do we take you to a witch doctor or a vet? Some irresistible force is pulling me through the frame of that movie. Oh shit! How convenient. Not for long. Santa. I want that toy box. Crap, I just thought it was a little person. No, it's Santa. This is one of those situations where it would be Why is Santa so small? Or psychic powers. Not much telling. Psychic powers. Is <laughs> these, wait, isn't he supposed to be an elf? Explainable psychic powers. Oh, Why though? Yeah. Because then he can't hardly keep Why him as slaves. Hill are you hiding? Well, I mean, we kept humans Santa, as... Don't you have like Christmas magic? Didn't we keep humans as slaves? Yeah, we don't talk about that anymore, remember? That got taken out of all the textbooks. Ah, hello, Charlie Hotep. Good old Charlie Hotep. Thanks to him, I am gifted with the miraculous ability to throw my voice into people and objects. Yeah, I'm still not sure ventriloquism counts as a psychic power. Tell that to Terry Fader. Um... That sap Kringle will never find us in here. Ha! There you are! Watch out for oh. the squid! Are you just gonna have him shoot this whole place down with you inside? Oh, never mind. He left for no reason. He thought he got him. 
Wouldn't you wait for someone to yell like, Ah, I died! All we've got to do is read those hieroglyphics again and the door will open and we'll be golden! Right. Uh, you don't you mean remember how to read hieroglyphics. Foot snake, squiggle, you? squiggle, bird. Fat chance, but you do, right, Sam? Pray not. There once was an ancient inscription that had to be spoken. I think you're supposed to kick a snake into the grass and let uh enemies had a connection. A bird eat it. Props for originality. Oh, this is rich. Ho 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 Cut we Damn tunnels leading him right back to us. Wait, we die. That man Oh, that was convenient. That was interesting. A little skimpy on character development. That can't be the whole story. There must be. I a thought idea. something psychic happened. Why are we just standing next to the projector? Gosh, the yeah. projector. The projector is a toy of power. Did we just like watch the end it, of the movie first? Projectors are not no, toys. That was the middle. What's next? What the VCR of power? Which one do you want to try? Great. Okay, so we have to pick one. Mm-hmm. So now, you thought the plot was hard to follow before. I guess you can choose it, but also you have absolutely no control over anything that's going on. I so. dare say that... Mm, which one of these... I think the Sphinx Challenge might be... I mean, the Sphinx Challenge might be the first one. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, if you want, you can just create a complete disaster that we never come back from, but <laughs> otherwise we could, we could just start this from the beginning. That'd make more sense. Oh crap, this one has a title sequence in it. Good call. It's not even in sepia. Well, some of, one of, one of us Mentioned that this is basically just Tomb Raider with Sam and Max, but unfortunately, instead of Lara Croft, you're just gonna have to deal with Sam's boobs instead. I would totally love to do that. But uh, hey, you know what? You said that this thing isn't in sepia. I could, I could make this in sepia in, in editing. No, it ruins the whole fact that they forgot what the heck this chapter was set up to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now we got all that, none of that's gonna happen for like another oh. uh, entire game. So, my, in the I don't meantime, know. We're just, I don't know if you can hear. I don't know if you could hear it, but my neck just popped three times, and it felt so good. New York City, 1901. Excuse me. Well, I didn't think they built New York City with freaking bricks of sand and all that shit, but oh. This. Shh, show's about to start. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. What ladies. show? We're in the 1900s. The of the uncanny and the bizarre. Allow What's he gonna do? Pull his thumb off his hand? My name Ooh. is Mr. Pepperweight. And What's I've your paperweight? Tidings, an archaeological discovery of earth-shattering proportions. My friend, Gosh, I hope we didn't I pay for a ticket. To you, the Sphinx. Is something cool hiding behind the rock? How do you get this inside the theater? The face of pure evil. The stage is that way, schmucko. It is said she will yield her secrets only to one whose powers are equal to those of Samun Mak himself. Might you be that favored individual? I have come no, to we can't even lift. today to issue a challenge. What you see before you is not merely a pasteboard facsimile, but a perfect recreation of the tomb's outdoor fortifications. To the one who makes it through the gate. Oh, I thought you did something in Egypt and brought it here. No, you just cheated. For the adventure of a lifetime. You I can't. We just buy tickets ourselves. For the guys who can bust through that thing. Busting things is our speciality. You read my mind, little buddy. All right, so I guess we go and t uh, talk to Monsieur Paperweight. I suppose so. So, anything else you want to do for us, like a dance routine? The challenge of the Sphinx is open to all, regardless of age, prowess, or physical deformity. Oh, thank goodness, because we have all of those. Um, anything <laughs> you want to do? Uh, what's in the can? That can of nuts looks oddly out of place up there. 
That is no ordinary cannon nuts. It's a cannon nuts it from Egyptian? the toy box. What makes it so out of the ordinary? Far be it from me to divulge the secrets of the devil's toy box, but it's just possible that this can does not actually contain nuts. Good, because we have a nut allergy. Um, well, we know that Flint Paper does, but he hasn't been born yet. Uh, oh, thank goodness. But we could stop him by feeding everyone peanuts at the same time. Yep, fabulous prize. Remind me, what do we win if we beat this game? An all-expenses-paid trip to sunny Egypt. Egypt? Now, is that with the alligators or the crocodiles? Your ignorance of giant carnivorous reptiles is embarrassing me, Maximus. All right, Sphinx challenge. Spill the secret, buddy. How do we make it through this challenge of the Sphinx? I can talk you through the sequence of steps, but you must pass through the mouth of the Sphinx by your own power. To begin, do we need a hammer? Step on to the beseeching mat. Beseeching mat? Her tongue. Why doesn't it just say welcome? All right, and then after the tongue. In other words, you don't have a clue how this thing works. Of course, I know how it works. I built it. But despite all my arcane knowledge, only one granted the gift has the power to pass through. So you didn't even remember how you built it? Well, that's inconvenient. What's with the old man? He's a codger with the ugly kids. Is he bothering you? You want we should pants him? That's Nicholas St. Kringle, the well-known toy tycoon. He's offered me a fortune to direct him to the tomb of Samun Mak, but his money is of no interest to me. Who wants toy money? Talent! That is what I am searching for. Mole. Uh -oh. Mole woman? Know anything about the dame with the beady eyes? Mole people. The bane of my existence. Why are they always following me? I feel like I picked the wrong reel. No, this is... Legitimately, there's li actually nothing you can do in this game until we have some kind of background as to, well, this irrelevant thing that just happened to show up. We saw that. Go to all the trouble of rigging up the yeah. challenge of the Sphinx. If you're the big expert, why don't you just go through the mouth yourself? Knowledge alone is not sufficient to overcome the Sphinx's defenses. Alas, no Fez is allowed. Must be special. But Fezes are cool. The doctor said so. Thanks, your impresario ship. Give the you trust the doctor. Cry, boy. Yes, I do. You got to lose. Well, then I, gu I, I guess you're right. Rule number one, the doctor lies. There you go. Honestly, this would have been a lot easier if he just set up a, you must be this tall to ride the bunks because uh, literally Sam would be the only one to go for it. Up for the challenge of the spunks, little buddy? Never have I been so keen to pass through a hippopotamus mouth, Sameth. I take a really kind of thought of I guess it was a hippo. Dear Murray, I was wondering why you wear a shirt but no pants. <laughs> Do you think I've got the talent to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? You must have some talent, Maximus. Why not that? Well, that's an insult. Gotta be something you can do with your life. Maybe pick this up. What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Oh! It contains things! Well, well that was a disconcerting... Well, for two oh, seconds, it did contain oh, two nuts. From me, Sameth. My body's all tingly. I've never felt anything like it. You, you mean four. Oh, just you wait till I get to bed. The next you mean four years, nuts. Buddy. It's all part of... Oh, I do it again! Hey! Oh. Now, where did they run off to? Oh, they switched it with a fake can. Whee! Who the heck carries nuts with them around where they can just... I mean, the, Chris... Gosh. That was the toy tycoon Chris Kringle. Supposedly, that's not even supposed to be a toy. The Unless they're shot. just giving out like frickin' canned beets or something to kids these days. It is the 1900s. Not like you're getting a Game Boy. The Sphinx has awakened. You are indeed a seeker of substance. We like to say he's pleasantly plump. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. 
Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, uh, what do we do? Shake? Let's see what we got in our inventory. Crap. Nothing! I have a pocket lint. Let's do this later. Double well, that's too bad. We have to go and get that can of nits. At least all the elves look completely conspicuous. I, I hope New Yorkers don't look like that these days. Should we talk to, to uh, Santa Claus? Why not? No one's allowed to have a taller hat than us. No, no more toilet breaks till the job's done right, understand? We, um, we're not your underlings. Huh? I but how much do you pay? statements for the press. Who are you? That's right, you don't. Snowy white, nose like a cherry. Haven't we met somewhere before? Fat chance! I don't make a habit of frequenting the greasy dives in this low-rent neighborhood. But no doubt you've seen my mug splashed across the front page of your morning paper. Nicholas St. Kringle to spearhead bobbles for Bratz Charity Drive. Nicholas St. Kringle named Philanthropist of the Millennium. Nicholas St. Kringle photographed in secret. with team of Swedish figure skaters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just happen to be Swedish figure skaters. No, we wouldn't want to touch him. Yeah. How about a cookie, Kringle? Go away! Oh... It's just my pal here hasn't eaten in 72 hours. And you had such a kindly face. Oh, for the love of... He looks ill. Okay, but just one, Savvy. Him yeah, and his frickin' syphilis. Anyway. All right. No, you got a free cookie. Yep. Well, you had to beg for it, but... It's fun, I don't get it. What's an important-looking guy like you doing in a two-bit amusement palace like this? What's to get? This paperweight character says he's made some kind of big discovery of a toy-related nature. I make it my business to keep up with all new developments on the toy front, okay? Stumped, aren't Gosh, you? Just wait till you can ch check your phone and figure it out yourself. I'm up there attempting the challenge of the sponge. My underlings are handling that for me. I see. Scared to try it yourself, huh? Scared? Nicholas St. Kringle is scared of nothing. These have fucking macadamia nuts, I'll kill you! What did he just... Did he just give it two cookies? Yep. Let me help you up! Keep your pincers off me, you drooling little cretin! If the hell are you, a turtle? Get off your ass! If do your job, I wouldn't be down here! Okay, uh, while he's, while he's down, we have a... Yeah, go ahead What do we got here? Inventory list, profits... Was it ransom money? Body, nice. Hmm, employee addresses. Looks like Kringle's employees all live in that elf ghetto. You mean Little Arctic Circle? Yeah. Wanna take a little walk? Have you Who seen... Who the hell? There are laws about people like that coming in. Well, now we have a chance to go out and get the thing. Yeah, but they're all in hieroglyphics. Oh, look, there's... For there's who? I mean, the Egyptians could probably read it. Again, we'd have to let them in. This is 1900s America. I don't even think white people exist yet. Oops, I accidentally paused the game. Where are we going, Samit? Too bad. Yeah, everything happened while you were gone. Yeah, my hand accidentally brushed against the keyboard and accidentally hit a button. The chunk of the frozen north on the lower west side. Filthy Wait till elves. summer. You pollute the sacred relics of the mole people. Ah, oh, lay off! Go on, you... burrow back where you came from. Yeah, go to Lord, is there a, not a barber in this town? Pa, I curse you. Or a dentist. Ooh, I'm quaking in me little elven booties. Why can't we all get along, Samith? Because most of us are a little buddy. He's got a point. What be? Oh, a dog. Fuck. Fine. God. I was trying to click that on the paper. Very interesting stack of paper, wasn't it? Just kidding. Who can penetrate the gate of the Sphinx? This is the best penetrating duo this side of Will and Grace. 
I don't know. Where are we going, Samoth? Little Arctic Circle. By the way, Little Arctic Circle seems to be on the corner of straight and narrow. Up. Uh, wow. Well, gentrification sure worked fast. Let's look and see what the old building looked like. Get the dog in the suit. Nice hat, mister. What graveyard you dig it up at? <laughs> How? Lordy. Wow. No wonder they needed cops in this area. Yeah, let's see what's inside our old building. Where are they cat calling a dog? A cellar apartment. Wait, did they live here? They did! Sure! I the only thing they left in their frickin' will. Nope. Oh, nope. hang on. Maybe we came at a bad time. Okay, this is a very uh, multi-ethnic family that lived down here, possibly. Excuse me, sir or madam. I can see you're busy muttering to yourself, but... Why you break my concentration on girls? You in cahoots with disgusting elves, no? No. Wait! We just think it'd be easier to punch them. It is you, not boy. Sameth, she just called me nut boy. The one with great... I thought only Sam called you that. Ha! <laughs> to squeeze himself down to kind of naughty, ya. Oh, no, ja, ja, it's me, nut boy. Not boy. Oh. You don't have to cry, we're right here. I sick elves. So long tight. searching after sacred cannonots stolen from tomb of someone muck. To find it in the theater, to see it making with glorious magic nut boy squished down with fat doggy friend. Huh? And then... Gosh, that sounds X-rated. The little sacrilegious maggot elves. Oh, for the strength of ten moles to crush them to paste. I said, I, we like paste. <laughs> Crushing elves to paste. Sounds fun. And invigorating. You, not a boy and fat doggy friend. You will come to aid of pitiful mall woman. You will take Kanonot back from nasty elves and bring... Only if you come up with better nicknames. Sure. The first part, anyway. And perhaps there is something mall woman can do for you. Well, hieroglyphic oh, funnies. Yes, actually, we yes, the very um nondescript thing that you can do without us even in the room. We're in need of a hearty chuckle. Can you read us something from your hieroglyphic funny pages? Let me see. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Mole mates creating much merriment up and down the Nile. In first pan, husband Mole say to wife, "You very angry with me, no?" You can see it's true because wife Maul have scorpions crawling from the eyes. Is Jughead okay? Husband say, it's because you caught me. Oh, how you say it as oh, it's making the monkey dance with the beautiful temple Maul maiden who have the sensuous quivering nostrils. Haba haba. In the third part, how the hell do they fit that in the speech bubbles? Backwards from great astonishment. You'd be surprised with some way, some no, languages. Because you Cut the cucumber lengthwise! <laughs> Can you do that again? But like, uh, cuts a cucumber in an interpretive dance? <laughs> that was it's crazy. No, I mean, can you imagine? Oh, this is this is getting uncomfortable. Just Americans have no sense of humor. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> um, oh, how do we do it again? <laughs> no. You want to do it again? We have Dilbert. <laughs> if it's only if it's legitimately another one. Wait, do all of all of them end the same way? Don't they? Probably. Do you what? want to find out? One more. I'm if sure it's, I swear if it's, I swear if it's another cucumber. Another strip. Okey dokey. Mm. Oh, everybody loves Fred Jackal. Fred Jackal is always up to abusing hygienes. Oh, 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 here, Fred Jackal hiding under the bed. His master said to him, Come out, Fred Jackal. I am not angry for you for making in center of living room carpet a steaming pile of dung with many flies buzzing around from the stink. Oh, sorry. I heard this one on Marmaduke. You can end it. Fred Jackal is saying, He does not know. I cut the cucumber <laughs> lengthwise. <sighs> Uh, cucumber, cut lengthwise, it's fun! Yeah, you tried that the first time, didn't you? 
never will I understand this country. What's the third one, though? <laughs> Do you obviously want one more? Yes. One yes. more, and it was... Ah... Uh, <laughs> stupid Legit fucking... Like, like, honestly, who could even come up with this many comics? Uh, timing what? is off. Are you kidding? What? Okay, so there's no more. So let's just talk about the old country. Before I shove a cucumber in my face. Only if you cut it lengthwise. Ha! Ah, ha, ha, ha! No, okay, okay. What, what happened in the old country? You sound very Jewish for being from Egypt. The happy pitter patter of little scarabs. The smiling faces. She sounds of Swedish to me. Guarding the tomb has been our family business for many generations. Why'd you leave? Why did you leave the old country? Oh, tomb guarding business not what it used to be. Nowadays, no decent tomb raiders to impale. So, family sent me here. I make it big in America, I send for them. Sounds good. Keep on cursing. Hokey dokey. Hokey dokey. <laughs> All right. Great. Let's okay, go. so now we know not to stand next to that particular window. And not to cut the cucumber lengthwise. Are you sure it would get a huge laugh out of that one particular person as long as you... Oh, yeah. I actually didn't. Genuine snowballs hand carved by immigrant elves. Uh... Let's, okay. Let's talk to the know. elves. What's the matter? You get off at the you sure those are snow and not just Smells asbestos? Like you generally steer clear of little Arctic Circle. What are we supposed to smell like? Frickin' grapefruit or something? We're slumming? We're here to gape at the depressing squalor of your miserable ghetto and congratulate ourselves on our comparative good breeding. Oh, knock yourselves out. Cool. Um, we're already feeling giddy. We represent Toymaker's Local 614. Stand up and be counted! No contract, no work! Pipe down! We don't need that kind of trouble! We got a cushy setup here! Don't I be scared! Jeff Bezos yet. can't fire you yet! We just last week talked the boss into taking the steel tip off the whip! Don't louse it up for us! Damn! Gotcha! Actually, we got a call from Teddy Roosevelt himself, and he said that you guys need higher wages to buy... Earmuffs, probably. What year was Roosevelt in office? About 1900s. Fair enough. I think I Sam already made the joke. Fighting. That's when we walked in. Crazy old bat. Some cock and bull story about how the moles is the eternal guardians of the tomb of some joik. Sammy Mack. Yeah, and get this. Our can of nuts is really some kind of mumbo jumbo voodoo drum in her creepy religion. And when I don't hand it over to her, she zaps me with the full on gypsy kites routine. Tough break. Is it working? Ah, banana oil. That stuff might kill him in Moldavia or wherever, but it don't play in the US of A. Yeah, I don't even know where you'd find a tomb. Huh? Nah, that we just ate dead people for the food these days. That can of nuts! What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Boykin, what does it look like? Special job for Mr. K himself! We's in the toy and novelty racket, see? We swiped, uh, that is, we managed to acquire this nifty little gizmo here. Sports a couple of interesting features. We crack the code and Boss Kringle makes a fortune selling it over the holidays. Which means big bonuses for the likes of us. Give it up. You'll never manage to... Oh boy, what does that mean? Like two less hours in the torture chamber? ...as much as ineffable aura. Right. I hate to say it, but you guys' auras are just plain effable. Ah, Guan, you chumps got no more claim on this can than we do. Only we got it, and we're keeping it, see? We'll see about that, you bonsai bandits. Oh, Maximus, I think we should go. Huh? They're only going to kill themselves trying to figure it out. Meanwhile, we've got the toy idea that's going to set the industry on its ear. Oh, damn straight. Wait a minute. The boss will pay big if we bring him a great new concept. And it's true, we ain't getting nowhere with this can of nuts. Tell you what, Polly, we might be willing to wake out a tray. Give us your toy idea. If it's really a winner like you say, we'll let you have the can. No fuss. Point and okay. click, point and click adventure games. If you insist, point and click adventure games. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Well, 
Lick, you have to point, and then you click. It's all the rage with. Okay, you actually, get to, very you get, old man. You get to pick one now. What about kegs for kids? That's my little pony can. Why not get them started early? Regable houses. Hmm. Kids love beer. Yeah, but that's what I thought. Don't. Okay. Well, not everyone can just you know clean their water. Uh, uh sausage uh, stuffer. Sure. My first sausage stuffer. A fun way to dispose of leftover lunch meat, household vermin, and scabs. Ah, oh, please, you're making me heave here. Okay, yeah, but your turn. <laughs> Don't tell him what's actually in sausage. Um, what about a board game? It's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The kids ain't into capitalism nowadays. Oh, That's just it. you wait. <laughs> inflatable dartboard. It's an inflatable dartboard. Uh-uh. Tried that last year. It was a bust. All right. Oh, pop. And now the last one, Slinko. It's a coiled up spring you push downstairs. Hey, I like pushing things downstairs. Nah. We got him. Here. Come on. Okay, how about we t uh, radio antenna for the Vietnam War? Just kidding, that's the same thing. Um, <laughs> As a matter of fact, you got nothing. We got something all right, but we're holding out on you. Gotta clear it with the boss first. You do that. Come back when you're ready to talk toys. And if your idea's as hot as you say, we'll kick the can over to you. Kick the can. <laughs> Good one, slushy. Shut up. Those round-headed rats, they can't do this to me! I, I mean, Did we really need a break? I thought we were... Belongs to are we doing well enough? Possession. Well, Apparently. Unless our great-grandpas can dig up a great toy idea, I'm afraid they're out of luck. Oh yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, Joe 2000 and uh, uh, LuigiFan891!